Kate was in seventh grade when she realized she was practically invisible. Since then, she has been kind of a wallflower. She lives with her single mom Lori who is a very attractive woman. Lori dates a lot of men, which makes it hard to keep track of who is who. And when she broke up with them, she would have a quick therapy session with lots of ice cream. Then she would wipe her mascara-covered eyes and flee to another town with Kate. Kate calls all her mother's dates skip as they keep coming and going. John Tucker is the captain of the basketball team and the most popular guy in school. Kate describes him as a mix of an Abercrombie model and a Greek god. He is in a secret relationship with three different women. The three are unaware of his ingenious plan and share a rivalry with each other. Since they all are from different cliques, they hardly talk with each other. In addition to that, he tells all of them that his father doesn't let him date during the basketball season, so they have to keep their relationship a secret. He upholds the saying that one has to put in work for love. And really, he is working triple the amount than any normal being. Beth is a fanatic vegan activist. Carrie is the school reporter and a go-getter, and Heather is the head cheerleader. Kate works as a waitress. The first time she spoke to John was at the restaurant. It was more of her trying to remember the alphabets than having a full-blown intelligent conversation. Kate learned about John's chicanery when she saw him bring three different women every time he came out on a date to the cafe. His act would change according to the girl he brings in. But as is said, one cannot go long with deception. And one day that opportunity came. One day John smiled at Coach Claypool, which made her pass out. It turned out to be acute angina, and she took early retirement. As a consequence of the event, all the gym classes were combined. Beth, Carrie, and Heather were put on the same team during the ball game. Heather hears Carrie say she is dating John and smacks her on her face with the ball, twice. A fight breaks between Carrie and Heather, and Beth tries to pull them apart but soon joins in after learning the two are dating John. Kate and the new coach also face the wrath of the three. They calm down after a bunch of slaps, punches, and smacks with the balls. Kate reminds them that instead of questioning John, they are going after each other. He is the one cheating, so he should be answerable. The four girls end up in detention. Scott is the only one in school who recognizes Kate. They meet in the detention, where Scott is humming cheap trick, and he is way out of tune. He reveals John is his elder brother. After he leaves, the four girls are alone in detention, and they start talking. Kate makes them realize what men like him do to play with the girls' feelings and hints at getting even with him. Later in the evening, Carrie, Beth, and Heather meet at Kate's home. They plan to put his face in an embarrassing advertisement, but that backfires when he wins a Teen Responsibility Award for being the face of it. Scott and Kate develop a bond when Scott asks her to be his lab partner. The girls devise another plan to bring down John. They start giving him estrogen, which makes John have a meltdown in the middle of the game. But this plan also doesn't work as he wins all the girls' hearts, and they come drooling over the fact that apart from being very attractive, he is also a sensitive guy. To add to their dismay, John breaks up with all three of them, earning much-deserved slaps on both his cheeks. But he is a player and doesn't really care. While sulking together, they come up with a plan to break John's heart as he did to them. Since Kate has never been with John, they suggest Kate pretend to date him, and once he is head over heels for her, she dumps him. Kate is not sure at first but gives in after the girls plead with her. The plan brings the four together emotionally. Each girl individually trains Kate. Heather gives Kate tips on being confident. She instantly catches John's attention. So the girls escalate their plan and ask Kate not to give John the attention he usually is used to, instead act disinterested. It works, and John is baffled at the thought of some girl turning him down. He goes over the top to impress Kate when he sends gazillion flowers to her and announces his number on the school's loudspeaker. Terry records Katie's progress with John, and all of them end up bashing him on the video. Scott secretly likes Kate but can't muster up the courage to confess his feelings. John asks Scott about Kate since he is her lab partner. Scott doesn't reveal much, only that she is old school. The next day Scott tells Kate that Scott was asking about her, but he didn't say much. They have a moment there when they stare into each other's eyes, but soon, it diffuses. Kodiaks have a big basketball game. Kate is cheering, and in the middle of the game, John asks her on a date. She says yes, and John throws the ball to earn his team the winning score. Suddenly Kate becomes popular, and everybody greets her as she walks with John on their date. Scott gets jealous seeing Kate grow close to John. A hilarious moment occurs when Kate and John get wet because of the sprinklers, and in the middle of their kiss, Kate starts getting electrical shocks from her mic that the girls had planted to record the events of the date. Lori advises her not to go further with the plan, as she is worried her daughter might end up with a broken heart. Kate dismisses her and tells her she doesn't need her advice, since she isn't a role model when it comes to dating. It hurts Lori, but she forgives Kate, and Kate apologizes too. John starts falling for Kate as he takes her out on a romantic evening on a boat. Beth notices Kate has developed feelings for John too. They convince Kate that John had them under his spell too, and to prove that John is not serious about Kate, Carrie goes to the boys' locker room to record how John actually feels about Kate. She records him boasting about how he has got his way with Kate. Kate meets Scott in the chemistry lab. She is expecting him to be her partner again, 
but Scott turns her down and says he is going to pair up with Alex. Kate feels a bit sad and walks away. Back home, Justin comes to pick Lori up on a date. Kate slams the door in his face and asks her mom not to go out with the skip again. She proceeds to tell her mom that she is messed up because of her mother's ways with men. She has never seen a functional relationship. Kate angrily states that Lori could never see how her behavior affected Kate before leaving for the party. The team has won the semifinals and is at a hotel for the celebratory party with the entire college. Kate doesn't seem sure if she wants to continue with their plan. But Carrie shows her the video she recorded in the locker room, which enraged Kate. She is more than ready to take John down. He ends up in Coach Williams' room, who takes him to his coach pulling him by the ear. Everybody giggles and takes pictures of John in such a state. His coach gets very angry at John's behavior and screams at him in front of the entire college. Kate acts oblivious as sorry, but John remains sturdy and doesn't let this bother him. The next day, he walks into the basketball court with the women's underpants still on, and shows how they can use it to their advantage. He convinces all the other players, and they all end up wearing one for practice. Kate acts distant as John catches up with her. He tells her that he was humiliated while trying to impress her, so that should be self-explanatory that he is serious about her. Kate reveals she knows what he said about her in the locker room. He dismisses it, saying it was just locker room talk. To convince her, he takes out his watch, gives it to her, and asks her to be his girlfriend. The girls are shocked to see John is really into Kate and are even more shocked to know Kate has fallen for him. They remind her that she was nobody before she met them, and John fell for the girl they turned her into. The bickering then turns into a fight among the girls about who deserves to be with John. Kate intervenes and tells them that their revenge strategy will not work, as they all are obsessed with John and taps out of the plan. Scott sees Kate coming out of the classroom and is shortly followed by the girls. He grows suspicious and follows them. He catches up with Kate near the lockers, and confronts her about what she is doing with the three girls who could never be friends. She realizes what this plan has turned her into and feels guilty about it. Back home, Kate has a hearty chat with Lori about what is going on. Her mom encourages her to be authentic to herself in order to find who her real friends are. Katie leaves for John's birthday party to tell him everything gets ruined, when her video of telling John he is not the one for her plays on the big screen. Carrie, Beth, and Heather wanted to go ahead with the plan with or without Kate, so they gave the entire video recordings to Tommy, John's best friend, to play, calling it John's birthday gift. Kate confesses everything to John and tells him how she, along with Carrie, Beth, and Heather, devised this whole plan to make him feel what it feels like when someone breaks their heart. She also confesses that she had turned into something she couldn't even recognize. But now she is done being pretentious. One of the kids calls her name, and splashes the entire drink on her because she ruined the party. Everybody starts hooting, and Carrie, Beth, and Heather climb on the stage to rescue Kate. They apologize that it was their doing and she didn't deserve to be treated like this. They too get splashed with drinks. John tries to calm down his friends, but things get out of control, and it turns into a cake fight. At school the next day, Kate meets John and apologizes for throwing the cake at him. John apologizes too and says he deserved it and promises from now on, he is going to tell the truth no matter what. They say goodbye and bump their heads as they lean in for a hug. They feel a handshake will be a much safer option, so they shake hands and end their fake relationship on a good note. Scott asks Kate to become his lab partner again. Their spark rekindles, and the girls tease her for crushing on Scott Tucker. After making John fall in love with her, Kate became a legend.